Alrighty. Okay, so I'm finishing off some more printing bits, you know, this kind of shit, all these little bits I use. Anyways, that shit's printing. I have this hooked up in an interesting way. I'll turn it on. Breaker works great. The whole bottom board is perfect. Okay, for exactly as I've displayed uh, this capacitor for allowing the feedback, this capacitor for capturing the feedback, this other capacitor in there for uh, running in over unity status all the way through it. Now, this is wired up differently, okay? It's double earth grounded midpoint and high side, two forward diodes, no negative connection, like Don Smith, except Don Smith's coil is the reverse direction. Both coils are in the same direction. Hooked up start to end, start to end. This is hooked up two starts together in midpoint grounded to the core and then earth grounded. Okay, here's our start to end, start to end, and the core midpoint ground is on the end of the one and the start to the other, and that's where the earth ground go, pumping all voltage. This is pumping voltage and amperage. Okay, all right, just wanted to clarify that. There are a few other secrets about the Don Smith device, if you listen to what he says. The negative wire doesn't actually connect to the device. Oh, it's a floating ground as a fucking antenna in the radiating field. Duh. Okay, same sort of situation here. Uh, similar. Except this is all fucking power. Massive power. No goddamn sparks. And it will charge a capacitor outrageous fast and has zero reflection on the source. Okay. Now, still to stardom, I've got to go way the hell back up to 29 volt. To get them to start, 28.52, there you start, now we'll turn them down. Now this allows you a lot of fucking power from the source. Okay, there's some interesting effects that happen here. Because when he is wired this way, there is no potential on that damn earth ground. And there is here, there is a potential there. So there's two positive diodes, forward facing, no negative connection. Okay, there's no negative connection on the, on the DC diodes here. And that causes a potential to inrush into the midpoint of the transformer from the earth ground. And that is exactly what you're witnessing. As I turn him up, it goes up. The inrush power from the earth goes up dramatically. As you can see, it's on both ends. This is not high side grounded, okay? It's pulling 25 watts. And when I touch this here, which is the DC, to get the reading, there is no, there's no sparks, there's no nothing here. We are getting 2 kV DC, but with a lot of amps behind it, right? There, there, it will spark, maybe, but it's oh so small. Let me zoom in on the damn thing so you can really see how small the spark is. And that's 2,000 volts at 25 watts, right? He's actually running over unity there. Take this out. Two watts to the good. So, And look at all that potential coming in there. It's coming in from the earth ground. We are not pumping it out. We are pulling it in. On the high side, we are pumping it out and through the wire. Okay, and there's the voltage, and that's with the spark gap. This is very high frequency, 100 and something kilohertz. 100 kilohertz, and he's not even arcing there. It's like static potential, 103 kilohertz, and 27 watts. I can turn him up, right? He just keeps going up, and the frequency goes higher, does it? Spark gets higher in sound. So it's 60, look at it. That just started going stupid. 
I know I meant like full power there. 70 watt. 2 kV. Lots of power there. And if I put a load on that, um, from the positive out of the DC, which, um, well, yeah. The positive out is coming into the meter, so the other side of the meter here that we are reading is the other side of the potential. Now, I did not try to short the two, okay? She's running there constant, COP3 right there. Three watts in, 9.4 watts out, and 100 kilohertz at the boat. I don't know, 1.5 kV. So this will charge capacitors really fast. And when I, he has no reflection on the fucking source. Nothing. He does not, he doesn't do anything to the source. Now that's probably got to do with it coming through the meter. I will see. But it is very interesting right here.